In this video, we are going to be preparing a Windows 11 virtual machine and setting it up for assigned access or the Windows rendition of a kiosk or kiosk mode, right? A computer that you might find at a coffee shop or a library or a business center in a hotel where the user or you only have access to a web browser or some kind of public terminal to be able to access the internet, maybe. We want to be able to take advantage of that and try and break out of that kiosk, that limited and restricted environment to open up a command prompt or to be able to own the computer a little bit more than we originally had access to. Now, I'm gonna showcase how we can do this in the next video to actually break out of it, but I have to give the disclaimer. This is a technique that I haven't seen people talk about all that often because it's weird, uh, but I need to add the couple stipulations and disclaimers, right? That this requires a little bit of criteria and that yes, you, as far as I know, as far as I can tell and as far as I've discovered, you do have to be able to determine the administrator's password. You do need to be able to know an admin password to be able to make some changes locally to fix and break out of the kiosk. Um, if you're in a situation where, hey, the administrator has a weak password, it's just a set and forget thing, or they, oh, password or admin, password one, P, capital at sign, zero for an O, you know, I don't think that's too far-fetched. I don't think it's unrealistic to say some individuals in some kiosk might be set up with that quick and easy, set and forget, stupid password by default. But I need to add that disclaimer. And on top of that, you need to have some means to download or save something. You'll see what I mean in the next video. But first, let's get to it and let's set up assigned access in our VM. Okay, so I am working in my Windows 11 virtual machine that we have set up. Uh, however, I do want to revert back to a different snapshot before we set up our easy mode kiosk. In the last couple of videos, we were just working with that kiosk that we had set up and installed with the front face locker tool. Um, and we were able to break out of it by doing some techniques. Uh, sticky keys we thought would be an option for us. Turns out it was actually fixed in the later rendition of Front Face Locker, which is kind of cool. Um, and we tried some download and explore shenanigans to be able to work through different windows inside of, uh, you know, Windows 11. Oh, so let's log in as our kiosk user who we have set up to be our low privilege account. Um, I realized that I forgot to create his simple cheesy uh, front end website that's displayed. So let me go ahead and recreate that before we move forward. Uh, I'm referring to that index.html page. So let's open that up super quick and I'll, and I'll recreate that. Okay, that file has been saved. We now have an index.html on our desktop. And let me show you how we could set up this assigned access. Before we do that, I do wanna give you a little bit of background on the assigned access. We'll open up our web browser and we'll just explore, hey, what does Microsoft have to say about this thing? So I am on google.com and I'm just gonna talk Windows 11 assigned access. Super quick and easy. What is Microsoft Assigned Access? Assigned Access is a feature on Windows 10 and later that allows you to create a lockdown environment that lets users interact with only one app when they sign into a specified account. In our case, users won't be able to get to the desktop, start menu, or other, other app. So that's kind of slick. That sounds like the kiosk mode that we'd like. So let's go ahead and play with it. It's super easy. As explained here, you can open the settings app, move into accounts, select on other users, and actually set up a kiosk for assigned access. Let's go play with it. I am actually going to switch accounts to the admin because this is sort of the admin configuring this. Uh, bear with me, we'll just log in. We know his password is admin. And again, we'll keep that in mind, super weak password. Out of that disclaimer, when we try and break out of this, that's because it's gonna be necessary. Um, let me change the display settings here because I know this is kind of a big display and I want that to be more visible for you. Good enough. Um, so, we need to open the control panel. There we go. We need to know about our user accounts. Oh, actually, was this this was through settings. This was through their fancy smanchy new ones, not through the old school ones. So now under settings and accounts on the left hand side, we could see that we might have some uh, other accounts, right? Is that how this is set up? Oh, we can see it here. Family and other users, device access, work or school, and kiosk assigned access. That's what we're looking for. So let's set up a kiosk. This has a turn this device into a kiosk using a digital sign, interactive display, or other things. And my face is covering the button to get started. We'll go ahead and click on that. 
and it says, oh, let's create an account that will automatically sign in on startup. You could add a name here, but we already actually have our kiosk account. So we'll hit next on that and help me pick the right app that will be used in kiosk mode. Let's actually select Microsoft Edge. And then here's what we could use here. As a digital sign or interactive display, your website will be full screen. Yep, and this is actually Microsoft Edge working in kiosk mode, right? Or as a public web browser, Microsoft Edge will have a limited set of features. Well, let's use the same one that we've been working with thus far, digital sign or interactive display, or maybe we could play with the public browser pretty, pretty soon and see if we could actually break out of that. That would be some fun experimentations. Uh, enter your website's URL. Ooh, uh, so we know that's gonna be a local file, right? We want it in kiosk desktop index.html. Uh, and restart after uh, 15 minutes, whatever. And you're done. To use this device as a kiosk, switch the local account you set up and then sign out and back in. Uh, when you're in kiosk mode, you can use control delete to exit. Weird. Okay. Um, how about I just reboot? Because that should automatically sign in, right? Let's just restart. And let's see if that's all that we needed for assigned access and actually getting this configured. Okay, virtual machine is booting back up. Oh, okay, so we have a login screen. Oh no, why did it not, why did it not bring me straight to kiosk? That's weird. Okay, so that had a weird, whoa. <laughs> it displayed the operation with something broken because of settings displayed. Oh, but I can zoom in and out. With the, with the mouse wheel, which I was not able to do in the previous one. Okay, so I mean, this is it. This is Microsoft Edge running in that kiosk mode full screen thing, but I have a little bit more functionality than I expected. I think I can control P and control O to open stuff. Can I control S? I can. Okay, maybe this will be a little bit easier than we realized if we just have access to those right off the bat. I cannot use sticky keys. I'm popping up sticky keys on my host when I do that that was not on the virtual machine. So anyway, that's assigned access, as easy as that to set it up. Let's explore in the next video how we might be able to actually break out of this. We know that, hey, we have a couple options, control O, control P, control S, all those other file system dialog boxes allow us to do things. Maybe we could experiment with that, or maybe we don't have to. Let's Check it out in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having some fun. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please do those YouTube algorithm things. If you don't mind liking the video, leaving a comment, pressing the subscribe button, super helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Goodbye.